Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and today we have some Call of Duty Black Ops 3 playing a bit of Safeguard here on the map Hunted, running around the butterfly knife as we jump in the water here and we knife Nomad right as he's rejacking. I just thought that was a really cool kill right there. We see his body floating, but I just thought that was a really cool kill uh, running around here at the butterfly knife, the newly acquired butterfly knife that I actually got in my recent supply drop opening video. If you guys don't know, I was saving up all my crypto keys over the course of like a month and I also bought some COD points. I did a massive supply drop opening video here on the channel and if you guys haven't seen that, feel free to click the annotation that's on your screen or click the link that's down there in the video description both of which will open up in a brand new tab for you and you guys can check out that video after you're done with this one because it was actually pretty cool a lot of people really seemed to enjoy it and uh, yeah it was a really fun time we got a lot of really cool stuff but uh, like i mentioned running around here at the butterfly knife again some christmas noobs because of course christmas has passed therefore we have a giant influx of new players here in call of duty like we do every single year christmas noobs it's a time honored tradition here in call of duty where a bunch of brand new players just flood into the game and us experienced players just try to just pick them apart and that's what we do here in this game Play for the most part. We're just running around here with the butterfly knife, just knifing everybody. They all seem so confused as to what to do. They keep running in this building trying to uh, go play the objective and escort the safeguard, but little do they know, there's me just waiting, twirling my butterfly knife, just waiting for them to come in, and we end up getting a bunch of kills. It's been a lot of fun. It really has been. I've been playing for... Gosh, like the entirety of the day, pretty much. I've been just been playing Black Ops 3 all day, and just the amount of Christmas noobs is insane. I never really thought Christmas noobs was really a thing. I'll be honest, I never really thought it was really that big of a deal. People seem to over-exaggerate what Christmas noobs like did to the game every single year. I just never seem to notice that big of a change. But this year, with Black Ops 3, like, I'm not even kidding, guys. Like, every single lobby I'm getting to, regardless of game mode, because I've swapped in and out of game modes all day between Team Deathmatch, Free For All, Kill Confirmed, Domination, Ground War. Like, I've played all these game modes, and I I'm going to tell you guys, like, almost every single person in my lobby is, like, non-prestige level 30 or under. It's kind of insane how many new players are actually in Black Ops 3 this year. And as a result, the game is playing so different. Like, there's just, it's completely different than what you're used to while playing Black Ops 3. If you guys haven't gotten a chance to play since Christmas, once you get on, it's going to feel a little bit different. Because with all the new players, they're going to be playing differently than how you may expect them to play. It's just so much different, guys. The entire day, I'm like, wait a minute, why are, why are people there? Like, why is this guy in this corner? Why are you laying on your belly? You know, just it's these new players man they don't know what to do they, they're they're intimidated which black ops 3 really is a game that can be intimidating because there's definitely a lot to take in at once and so we got these new players and they're, they're just playing so weird it's, it's it's weird man i don't understand it like they're just in areas you don't expect them to be they're in corners randomly which i'm just not used to people being in corners they're like laying on their bellies in certain areas it's like why are you there you know they're running around with all these crazy setups and uh perk and gun combinations and it's fun you know god bless them it's fun to watch these guys uh run around they're trying their best they're trying to take in Black Ops 3, and admittedly, Black Ops 3 is a game that takes a lot to get used to. You know, there's a lot to take in. You're not going to master it your first day. Like, I don't even think a lot of these people even played the beta. Like, these guys just seem lost and clueless, and it is so much fun to play against them, but it's not fun when they're on your team. I've had a couple of games today, which, again, I've been playing, like, all day today, pretty much. I've played for probably four or five hours or so, and i would played it all solo, believe it or not, because none of my friends are online today. How dare they be out there enjoying their time with their family in the holiday season? How dare they? They should be playing Call of Duty with me. But uh, so I was playing solo, and I've noticed that most teams are going to be full of Christmas news, right? There's going to be a bunch of brand new players on both teams, but each team is going to have one, maybe two experienced players on them. And therefore, it's like, let's say there's only me and nothing but Christmas noobs versus two competent players and Christmas noobs. It feels like it's me versus those two players, and then we both have recruit bots on our team. Like, that's what it kind of feels like. <laughs> We're trying to, like, work around uh, having all these terrible teammates. You really have to try and carry the best that you can. And just sometimes it's very frustrating, you know? It's just, it's a completely different experience. If you guys haven't tried playing Black Ops 3, since Christmas, I definitely recommend hopping on, getting a couple of games in, because it's going to feel really different with all the new players. Of course, you get all the fun of having a bunch of new players on the other team. I've gotten so many headshots today. I'm actually trying out a new strategy here. So I'm kind of going for diamond assault rifles. Like, I'm not in really any big hurry to try and get there, but I'm trying to get diamond assault rifles. And so I got the KN44 up to 100 headshots, and I decided, now that I have 100 headshots for it, I'm just going to put it away for a bit, and I'm going to pull out a different one. And my idea here is I want to get, like, a bunch of different rifles up to 100 headshots, and then once I have them all at 100 headshots, then I'll go do the challenges, like the six attachments that that challenge, or the no perks challenges, or the long shots, and all that stuff, right? I figured I'll go ahead and do that stuff later on, just right now focus on headshots, because I'm facing Christmas noobs, and these guys are just dead to the world. They have no idea, just no perception whatsoever, and it's so easy to get headshots on them, that I figure, hey, we'll take advantage of it, let's run around, let's get some holiday headshots, and uh, <laughs> it's been working out pretty well for me, so hopefully you guys will all be enjoying your holiday.
holiday season. Hopefully, you guys have all been enjoying your time off school, work, or whatever it is you're doing. Hopefully, you guys all had a safe and Merry Christmas. I definitely did. I enjoyed my time with my family, and just it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it, and hopefully, you guys did as well. Let me know in the comments, how are you guys enjoying Black Ops 3? And just out of curiosity, how many Christmas noobs are subscribers to my channel? Just how many Christmas noobs are watching this video right now? I think that would be definitely interesting to hear about. Let us know about that. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, drop me a rating. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.